Now, I'm hoping that Liam Halligan is down the line because he's not in the studio. Oh, he is down the line. Hello, Liam. We expected you to walk through the door any minute. It's much nicer to have you in real life. Um, what's going on today with the interest <laughs> rates? It's, it's so depressing. Twelfth increase in a row. It does look as if the Bank of England will raise interest rates, as you say, Bev, for the twelfth time in a row. The building behind me, you've got the nine members of the Monetary Policy Committee that set rates eight times a year. If we just have a look at the history of interest rates over recent years, I've got a little graphic here. You'll see that in 2019, 2020, before the COVID lockdown, they got up to three quarters of 1%, just below 1%. Then, of course, they were a quarter of 1% throughout lockdown ultra emergency low levels since then since the end of 2021 we've gone from a quarter of one percent up in steps all the way to 4.25 percent as inflation of course has rocketed to its current level of 10.1 percent in march this year still in double digits and it's because inflation was still in double digits in March. That was a bit of a shock. A lot of people expected it to fall down below 10%. The cost of living squeeze still very much with us, that the Bank of England is likely to put interest rates up again in about 50 minutes' time to 4.5%, the highest since 2008. And that kind of seems counterintuitive. Why would they raise interest rates even more when we're all being hammered with high shopping bills and bigger mortgage payments? It's because they want to squeeze demand out of the economy to stop prices rising. It's a very blunt instrument. It's a cruel instrument. It's called monetary policy. We've had an awful lot of interest rate rises and it looks as if we're going to get another one today, Bev. It, it probably is as well, Liam, you've talked about inflation. The worst impact of inflation is on the poorer families because it's particularly difficult. Food inflation is still really, really high. That's right, Andrew. Inflation has been surprisingly sticky here in the UK. As I said, we're still in double digits. We're going to get another inflation number for April out in the middle of next week uh, when it's likely to fall below 10 percent, probably even below 9 percent. But food price inflation in March, Andrew, was still 19.1 percent higher price food prices higher than in March 2022, with food price inflation still rising. And that won't come as any surprise to people who do their daily and weekly shops. Food price inflation is still high, but it's high across Western Europe. But across Western Europe, in the Eurozone, for instance, inflation is now down below 7%. It's below 5% in the US because their energy markets work differently to ours. European energy markets are much more subsidised. The Americans have got all that brand new shale, oil and gas, keeping their wholesale gas prices low. So we are still in the middle of this cost of living crisis. I think when the Bank of England does raise interest rates, almost certainly at the top of the hour at noon, it'll be all eyes then on the Bank of England governor. There'll be a press conference, which I'll go into, and then I'll be back in the one o'clock hour with the Bank of England governor talking about the future path of interest rates. Is this the last interest rate rise? And is there going to, or is there going to be another one soon? It strikes me it really depends on next week's inflation number. If inflation does fall strongly below double digits, below 9%, so it's 8 point something, then this interest rate rise that we're highly likely to get today could be the last one. Look, a lot of savers like the fact that interest rates are going up, and a lot of GB News viewers and listeners will be older people who are savers. But if you're a young family, you've just bought a home, and you're trying to weather that huge mortgage, these interest rate rises are scary. And it brings me no pleasure to say that it's almost certain we will get another interest rate rise, Andrew and Bev, at 12 o'clock today. OK, thank you so much, Liam. Uh, make sure you keep uh, with GB News. There is no safer pair of hands to talk you through events like this than the great Liam Halligan. So make sure uh, you stay with us for the rest of the afternoon.